districts are back in session for this new school year. And for drivers, that means a lot more traffic on the road. Following the rules around school buses and using extra caution in those school zones. Our Ashley French spoke to the Tyler ISD uh, Safety Department about those concerns. Uh, what we really need is cooperation from the citizens as they are driving past a school bus. When a school bus is loading or unloading students, we need them to pay attention. Flashing lights in school zones, long pickup and drop off lines near schools, and students crossing the road. All signs that class is back in session. There are signs that Tyler PD says drivers should not ignore. Listen to the signs, listen to the, because you may not have kids, but you know there are kids out and about, especially when you're coming past a junior high or an elementary school. Uh, those are very important to take caution around at this time of year. Tyler ISD, one of the biggest school districts in East Texas, want to remind drivers about the law when it comes to driving near a school bus. Before a bus pulls up to a school stop, about 100 to 500 feet, they will activate uh, alternating amber lights, alert, alerting the drivers that they're getting ready to make a stop. Once they pull up to the stop, those yellow lights will then convert to alternating red flashing lights, and there will be two stop signs that come out from the side of the bus. When the drivers see that, they are required by law to stop behind the bus. This rule also applies to oncoming traffic. It doesn't matter how many lanes of traffic there are, all lanes are required to stop if there is not a physical barrier median separating the two flows of traffic. The only exception is there is a physical barrier or medium like in this example displayed here. Cars driving on the opposite side of the road don't have to stop, but are advised to slow down. The main goal working those school zones is for compliance. It's not to get out there and write tickets and, and hurt people who are, are you know, financially. It's, it's there to gain compliance for the safety of the children. In Tyler, I'm Ashley French for CBS 19.